Hi, this is Chris from GrowQuest with the uh, Backyard Garden Update. It's been about six weeks since the uh, container garden project has been started. And uh, granted, it was started at a very hot time of year. Temperatures uh, quickly went from the uh, low 90s to the uh, low 100s, even a few 105s and 107, and uh, made for some interesting challenges. By and large, uh, most of the plants have done exceedingly well, um, primarily because the potting mixes in general were very well draining. If they hadn't been very well draining, a lot of the plants would have suffered. Um, the fertilization has been mostly uh, using the organic approach uh, because of the late season. I did use my uh, favorite lawn fertilizer, which is a uh, 2177, and uh, that has definitely boosted growth, as it be expected. Uh, the next sequence of container plantings will focus on a, a more organic uh, or natural planting mix mixture of uh, horse manure and coffee grinds in addition to the organic fertilizers. We've been harvesting um, fresh herbs, basil, uh, Thai basil, chives. We had our uh, first zucchini, or actually cucumber, not zucchini. Uh, we've already got this one down here ready to harvest for today. You need to keep in mind that uh, Oh, there it is. So this is our second uh, really nice cucumber. It'll be chilled and served with some goat cheese and olive oil uh, later tonight. And uh, we've got some uh, really good squash. Looks like that's going to be uh, prepared this evening. You need to keep in mind uh, again that uh, some of the most expensive part of our foods, food shopping today in today's environment is the cost of uh, fresh fruits and vegetables. And in a uh, economic time where our government is uh, hostile to our uh, growth as uh, jobs and earnings, and is even more hostile towards the uh, cost of our fuel, which drives up the cost of uh, food, growing your own fruits and vegetables is a great way to take some economic independence. Not only that, it's just good fun. You get out here as a married couple or a couple, uh, even get the kids involved if they, if you can find the favorite fruits or vegetables that they want to grow, and uh, make it a great family activity. So you're saving money, eating healthier, and uh, having fun. Tomatoes have uh, definitely taken off very well. We've already talked about the abundance of tomato hornworms. Other than that, the general pest problems of leaf hoppers, uh, large amounts of aphids have been kept in check with uh, regular releases of ladybugs. There's a little ladybug down in here uh, keeping one of the pepper plants clean. Since it's the middle of September, uh, the amount of tomatoes we actually get out of here will be interesting because I'm in an area with a fairly cold winter, but the fruit is sizing up quite well. This is one of the compact tomato plants. It's got some good fruit growing on it. Some fennel in here. Chili peppers are, chilies and peppers are coming on well. Should get a good picking out of these before uh, the hard frost hits. Basil has provided a great harvest. Been sharing that with friends and family. A little lavender for some color and fragrance. Some uh, eggplants down here. I put them to keep them uh, off the ground. I've set them up here on this uh, little planting packet. Keep them nice and clean. Keep any pests that are on the soil from eating into them. Squash is coming on strong. 
We've got a good tomato crop building up in here. Probably about two weeks away from harvesting our fresh tomatoes. Might serve it up with that dog next door. Just little Asian cooking here with some uh, Thai peppers and uh, canine, I think. Again, the uh, fresh herbs have been great. I've been sharing those with uh, friends, family, even some of the customers where I drop off orders to. So that's kind of our progress update at uh, about six weeks out. You can see some actually huge bell pepper growth here. And uh, this weekend I'll be doing more plantings. And again, those will be more... Um, more organically based or natural gardening based since the first plantings here I was in a hurry to get established so I just used exclusively all sorts of all uh, potting mixes uh, excluding some of the favorite things I would put in there my principal favorite thing to add to any container planting is just horse manure fresh right off the ground it uh, does wonders for any planting I've also procured a lot of uh, grapes and berries. This time of year I can get good deals on uh, grapes and berries. I've got some figs going in and we'll focus on how to uh, do some container, container plantings as well as soil in the ground plantings of uh, figs, berries, and some of the olive trees that I've set aside. So, if you have any questions please uh, send an email or make a comment and I'll get back to you. Again, for the novice gardeners or beginning gardeners out here uh, or out there, um, this is what you should expect about six weeks out, if not a little bit better, depending upon your weather.